don't you look cozy? You, my friend, are certifiable. You, you almost gave me a heart attack. And, and have you even thought about her heart? Have you thought about that? Huh? Oh, no. My heart is not something I want either one of you worrying about. And what is your problem? We have a fight, and your response is to hop in a bed with another guy. For God's sake, Maxie, you weren't even picky about it. Uh, is that my cue to be insulted? He's your sister's boyfriend. I'll lose the moralizing tone. Who do you think you are? We're not married. We're not... You know, I don't even know what we are. But I definitely know it's not deep enough for you to barge in here and, and start judging me. And why do you care whose bed that I'm in? You're the one who pushed me out of yours and wanted me to run home to my dad. I was trying to find a solution to an unnecessary problem that you created when you stomped your foot like a spoiled brat and refuse to listen to your father. No, I'm not going to apologize for telling Mac that I'm old enough to make my own decisions. That happens to be true. What kind of life do you plan to have? You got no money, no job, and no place to stay. And I remember you saying you didn't want to be responsible for me. So you're not. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't have room in my life for weak, indecisive people. I want a guy who kisses me because he wants to and doesn't give a damn what my dad thinks. Fine. Huh? Hey, uh, close the door on your way out, will you, buddy? Thanks. Nice. Mm -hmm. Ow, a pervert! You just hit me twice, and you called me a pervert. Yeah, because that's how you're acting. You wanted to make the guy jealous. I did. And I helped you. Yeah, well, you could have helped him without your tongue being so involved. I was acting! Never heard of Method. I thought you were the director. Yeah, I am a director. And let me tell you something about directing. It's not all about setting up the shot, okay? You have to understand the actor's process. And by the way, don't take that to mean that I enjoy kissing you. I was just trying to make it look convincing. Okay, well, you convinced Jesse right out the door, and I didn't want to make him so mad that he left. Oh, I'm sorry that I didn't go for the exact lip-to-tongue ratio of getting him to stick Look, up. look! You're doing me a big favor by letting me stay here tonight, and I am grateful for that. Really, I am. And to show you that I'm grateful, I'm going to leave you out of my problems with Jesse. And from now on, I'll do my own dirty work. Are we clear? Clear. Oh. So, you might want to try some new tactics with that guy. Maybe be honest with your boyfriend once in a while. Jesse is not my boyfriend. Right. I am sorry about getting overzealous with the whole kissing thing. Apology accepted. Although, I don't think you have much to worry about. Was he furious? Yes, but somehow I didn't get the impression that he saw me as a threat. Well, then that just proves how blind he is. He can't see what's right in front of him. Dylan, you are a great guy and any girl would be happy to be with you. You think so? I know it. My little sister is very lucky. I'm makes two of us? I mean, why do you Georgie? It's like, she's so... I don't know, she's she's everything to me. You know what I mean? Well, I hope you know how rare it is for two people to have just complete trust and understanding. That's Georgie. Hey. I can't believe this. My boyfriend and my sister, the two people I care about most. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. Nothing happened. Nothing? Maxie, I wouldn't exactly call kissing nothing. You saw Jesse? Is he still mad? What do you think? Um, I, I think you may have the wrong impression here. I was helping Maxie with that. Oh, because she needed her tonsils cleaned. Oh, first of all, Jesse practically kicked me out on the street, and then he barged in here and started acting like some possessive jerk. Dylan was just being a friend and helping me out. That's it. Come on, you goofball. You know he loves you. Haven't you figured that out by now? This is what I have figured out. There is only one way this arrangement can continue. But we're sisters. And I know you wouldn't do anything to intentionally hurt me. And I love you. Good night, Maxie. Good night, Georgie. Good night, Dylan. Good night, Georgie. Good night, Maxie. Good night, Dylan.